So this talk is going to be a little bit different from the ones you'll probably hear. I'm not going to talk about the technology. I'm not going to talk about agile practices or processes, or I'm not even going to mention the manifesto that much. This talk is more about how other business functions work. We're all, here's a quick call of hands. Who here works in IT in some fashion? Yep, most of you. That's pretty much what I expected. So this talk is not going to be about IT. This talk is going to be about everyone else who's not IT and how you can actually work with them to convince them and help them help you become agile. Agile, an IT division is not self-contained. It might be a silo, it might be a matrix organization, but you have interfaces to finance, to HR, to sales and marketing, to all the other different divisions and functions across the organization. So what we're going to talk about is how we're going to align across the organization so that you can be successful. So let's actually have a quick little bit of a question and answer here. What, where is your problem? Where is your pain point in your organization when you're trying to be agile? HR? HR, which HR policy? KPIs? Performance metrics, yep. Where else? Roles and responsibilities, okay, yep. Um, job descriptions, position descriptions. Who's the business? Marketing sales, very good. So uh, that's a fair um, misconception, and it happens quite often. Agile isn't faster, agile is sooner. Um, and it's not necessarily cheaper, no. All right, so we'll talk about most of these things, right? and I'll, I'll make specific attention to call out some of the HR issues and some of the sales and marketing issues. So uh, just for those of you who don't know me, my name is Evan Laybourne. I'm currently based in Singapore, uh, though my uh, I was grew up in... Uh, Melbourne, Australia, and Sydney, Australia for the last oh, 36 odd years. So, um, how's the cricket going? <laughs> not, not, not well for you or not well for me? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Good to hear. All right. So, let's actually start with the core um, principle of why you're in business. Here's another show of hands. Think of your company's outcome.